Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Greetings everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about a phone game. It's basically the only game I play regularly these days. And I think it's got some great benefits and good things about it that outweigh some of the bad. So I'll probably discuss the fact that I played on an iPhone first and it's Marvel Future Fight. So I got into the game probably to update before Doctor Strange was introduced. And I believe it's available for iPhone and Android. It's based on the Marvel superheroes. It takes themes from comic books and the movies. There's a ton of characters in it. And it's really fun. I think the skins and the graphics on it are outstanding. It's got a lot of play modes. Not too much co-op and team type events but it's a phone game and I haven't played games in a long time the last PC games I played were Neverwinter Star Trek online maybe Lord of the Rings in any case I found a phone game Marvel Future Fight I like it a lot I thought I'd do a quick podcast on it and when you look at some of the things that people complain about in games I think this one comes through pretty good you look at a free to play player once in a while if I have a couple of bucks I could I'll throw it in but for the most part I'm free to play and I gotta say um I think it's fair and balanced it has a really good grind that it doesn't overwhelm you there are modes you can play or use clear tickets on so you can repeat them or do them on their own. You don't have to sit there. And when you look at some of the microtransactions, they're pretty fair. I mean, there are sometimes you find things on sale real cheap, and every month you can get something for two or three dollars. And yeah, you're gonna get um, they call them whales who put a lot of money into the game. They'll have access to things that you don't have, but for the most part, they're not. It's totally out of reach. You're going to be able to save up, let's say, crystals eventually to get something you want that someone paid for earlier than you or to get it quicker. And when you look at the modes that are in the game, as a free pl- free-to-play free player, I don't feel put down by people who put money into the game. It's one of the first games that feels like, hey, yeah, people want to put money into the game, great. It, it makes it so I can play basically for free although like I said I have put a couple of bucks into the game here and there so you got great graphics a lot of play modes really fun to play and you got a pretty good settings menu which lets you vary graphics sound effects or special effects you could shut off certain things to make it play better as a performance setting and it really helps especially with me I'll get to the cons in a little bit but I want to make it clear how much fun this game is there's so many characters in it you could do a quick search if you want and if you're really into the game there's only really one youtuber that I could recommend he's probably the best it's cynic Alex Watch his videos and he'll guide you from the beginning of this game to all the updates till now. He'll tell you the best characters to get first and the quick shortcuts so you don't make mistakes. So go check out Cynic Alex if you want to deep dive into that. So I got a decent game I play on my phone and for me it's a distraction I need sometimes just to get me away from things, clear my mind. And for that um, I'm so happy that I came across the game. So we'll get into a like, couple of the cons, I guess, and I really 
would like to just keep on telling people how fun the game is. It's a blast to play, and even the camera angles they use on certain boards. You have options to get a little closer or zoom in. The way the tiers up, you progress in power and stature are pretty good. Not too complicated. And now we're at a point where they just made a major update and they've changed some things. It makes it even easier for new people. Or I guess how Cynic Alex would call them intermediate players. Lots of bonuses, lots of specials for checking in every day, all around great game. And the only cons I could really think of is even with the settings, older phones have issues. So I can compare it with, let's say, an iPhone 5 and an iPhone 6. If you want to compare what Android model that is, fine. You'll be able to play the game, and but certain modes, no matter what you do with the settings, will crash. And sometimes it's after you finish the board and it crashes. However, there's a couple of modes that are pretty important and it'll crash midway in between. So that's a little disappointing, but maybe I'm the only person with an iPhone 6 <laughs> these days. And I'm not buying a new phone for a game. That's, that's for sure. So we have a little bit of issues with the game for older phones. And the new thing that's a little inconveniencing is the maintenance for this game is like six to eight hours. And that could be kind of annoying if you're setting a routine. You know, you're working, you join the guild, so you want to do what you have to do in the game to show support. And when you got these long maintenances, it kind of puts a damper on it. And really, that's it. I mean, all the phones will have a couple of issues here and there. Still playable, because I play it on an iPhone 6, and I have these crashes. You can get through. It might become a little annoying. And the maintenance is really the only other con I could think of. And yes, if you get deep into the game, or you play the game and you're finding this, I'm not hitting on all the nuances. I know there were a little bit, there were issues with this and there have been updates where it looked like the company Netmarble wasn't supporting the fans or the players of the game. I think that happens with every game. I'm trying to look at it as a general view of the game. Uh, I came across it, found it, and I can't stop speaking about it. It's, it's fun. It's the grind is fun. You don't feel, I mean, that's mean people are going to have different issues with it and take away what they will. And that's about it. I thought I'd uh, do a couple of short videos here and there. My thoughts on things. This happens to be the only game I play. I think I'm going to get into playing um, a PC game eventually, maybe do some streaming on it. And I see people do streaming for the Marvel Future Fight and it looks pretty cool, but I don't think I have a setup for that. And like I said, you're interested in playing Marvel Future Fight, check out Cynic Alex on YouTube. You won't regret it. Till next time, take care, and I hope you return.